Kang Lee and Will Smith start filming Gemini Man Will Smith has revealed on his Instagram that filming has started for the Paramount Pictures and Scott Inns movie Gemini Man, coming to theaters on October 4, 2019. Gemini Man is an innovative action thriller starring Will Smith as Henry Bergen, an elite assassin, who is suddenly targeted and pursued by a mysterious young operative that seemingly can predict his every move. The film is directed by Academy Award-winning filmmaker Ang Lee and produced by renowned producers Jerry Bruckheimer and David Allison. Also starring are Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Clive Owen and Benedict Wong. Are you looking forward to seeing Gemini Man? Let us know in the comments below. dealing in civil rights since 1975. I'm a retired military person. And we have had a lot of white people. A lot of them. I mean a lot of them. More than two, a lot of them. They start out on this journey with us. They surround us. But give them a day, a week, a month, or a decade, they're gone. Well. But you've proven that you are not only a great American, but a white right person. That's what we call the whites who stay committed to the cause of what Jesus talked about. We call you a white right person. You have proven that to us. Thank Go you. ahead, on, boy. I, I do want to say one thing. Um, Stand up, man, so that they can see this little short woman. <laughs> I could have said, I am standing up. <laughs> um, we never. <coughs> You are the people that are the right people. We never had to have the talk with our two sons. We never had to. We won't ever have to have the talk with our grandsons. We're, we're, we're off the hook. You guys are the ones who have, you guys are the ones who have the curse, and it is a curse, of this country's racism on you every day. Everywhere you go, you cannot shake it. Amen. We can walk out, and if we don't say the wrong things, nobody knows Amen. about us. We say the wrong things a lot, but if we didn't, nobody would know. Amen. And I want to tell you, all that beautiful land in Forsyth County, that had belonged to your ancestors. Amen. Yeah. Tell the truth. That Amen. had belonged to your people. It was your land. That's you right. should now own it. And God knows you probably will, your children and grandchildren will probably never have it. Never. And those people that welcomed Mrs. King and Andy Young and all the wonderful people who went with us that day on that march, the second march. Those people that welcomed us at the courthouse, they had bought up all your land <laughs> for nothing. Amen. For nothing. And they passed it on to their kids. And they had built uh, subdivisions up there like you wouldn't believe with mansions yeah. on your land. And they'll never give it up unless the courts or somebody comes along bigger than they are. And that's what we hope happens someday. That's your mansions sitting on that land. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. 
I'm not being programmed. Mm -hmm. But I see things through a different eyes. And my eyes are spiritual. Mm -hmm. So when you say that, you have to realize that the God of all human beings is not sleep. There are things that are going to happen in the United States of America. And I'm not going to go into it. But God is the great equalizer. Yes. And I want you to realize that people always say, oh, they just talk that God stuff. They just talk that God stuff. God has showed me dreams in 2014, and my husband can attest to it. The United States of America will pay. And what we are going through now, it will have a repercussion. And what America is going to lose, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess. That we are a special priesthood. That we are a special people. That we come from the very beginning. And that is the reason our seeds are being stopped, stumped out every day, even by our own. So therefore, I just want you to know that a lot of things that's in Washington will not be in Washington in the future. Yes. Because God has a plan, yes. and every person will kneel, and every person will bow, bow their bow and kneel to Him. For He is the Creator of every human being. I don't believe in white, and I don't believe in black. You don't look like white, and you don't look like black. This is black. This is white. Nobody looks like that. That's an enemy. That's a lie from the enemy from the deep beneath. So guess what? I don't even go that way anywhere anymore because I know that God has the plan for me and for my kids. Amen. Dr. Leonard Smalls is not here yet, so we have the greatest, the second greatest poet on the universe. <laughs> Helen Maxson is the third. Now we have Mr. Tariq Munchen. Right. I'm going to tell you, you might have had a God that done some stuff, but if you don't follow up with the spoken word that instills in you the commitment to fight every good fight, this is not about the notion of weight on Jesus. This is about the idea that what we got to do is get the name. Get your phone number. Get your, 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 your email address so we can go to work. This is what this is about. Tariq Mudgeon Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, greetings everyone. Greetings. greetings. My name is Tariq, I'm a poet. Um, I wasn't quite sure of uh, who was going to attend today. Torres Campbell, Seth Clark, Freedom School, so I thought I was going to entertain the young. I remember they said in the 60s that when the revolution was being formulated that one mistake that they made was they didn't bring their children. That's right. So as the older ones got older and started fading away, the children didn't take us back. Our children think different. You know what I'm saying? And they say that new things will not ever enter a closed mind. But some of us have been taught a certain way and it's tradition. It's almost like that bone in the pot. You ask your grandmother why you keep cutting the bone up the pot. Your daughter does the same thing. Why do you do it? And she says, my granddaughter did it. Her mother, mother did it. The only find out she only cut it because the pot was too small. <laughs> so, a lot of things that used to be done have to be done differently. And I'm like, yeah, we can't put all our faith in Jesus. We need to step up to the plate and start doing things. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can frown. I saw frown. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because those who frown is like, okay. I know they did the hangings in the 80s, right? You said 87, they did hangings to our ancestors. Not really. They did hangings up until the day before yesterday when they shot Stefan. Uh, yeah, okay. But the point is, the point is, the point is, is do I wear a gold chain with a loose around my neck? Hey, I'm with Okay, so why do we still wear that? We go school. I got a poem say why right. Say why right. 
And I will tell you who I am as far as a poet. And I'm going to share a poem that called Full Blood. You say we are original people. And then I'm going to do this last one called I Am. And I need some audience participation in this last one, all right? All right. Each poem is three minutes long. I'm in and out in 15 minutes straight, all right? All right, that's all right. Why I write? What? I write because I can take metaphors and similes and transform them into realities. The type of realities that will transform all you know as your truth. With a few adjectives, I can defy your ideas. Intellectually change definitions. With a few curse words, change your disposition. Inject a few verbs and make an inanimate object move. Truth that will consciously shape your thought as a carpenter with precision tools. I can formulate words in a fashion that can build character, lyrically undress poetry, and make you want to marry her. I can centuries speak sirens to suppress sacred secrets for centuries. Mend a woman's heart and give her the power of love, never to be defeated by words. My words will create peace for the least who struggles with a peace of mind and of mind by the gleam that this world brings. I can be inspirational. I'm an alchemist who look at problems as opportunities in disguise. Politically disagree against politics. Religiously rebel against revised translations. Speak out against injustice. Give hope to the hopeless. Notice this. My mind becomes a canvas where I paint pictures with words that shape and form they words. Infinite wisdom where all your money can't be bought. You speak of dream catches where dreams are caught. Misused words and your soul is no longer short. And love becomes a forgotten art where emotions usually override logic. Why? I write, I write because I'm concerned about the plight of my people. Uh. So mental slavery won't become some sort of secret. However you may look at this, it's a gift, and I am obligated to this. Oh. Amen. Woo. Continue to write my brother. That's right. Who am I? I'm a poet. We the poets who resurrect ritual. We revise revelations. We produce any solutions to the evolution. An evolution producer reborn after experiencing death, cross bearers as we return from the depths with holy war upon our breasts as we wear the title of chosen. Chosen because we choose to be elevating, evolving, emerging that God within we, Thus to see visions the masses cannot see. Part religious ideology like mold is part of the Red Sea, triumph through our trinity, tree by tree. Dismiss individual concepts that person can be. See, we never, we never, we never been alone and never will we be. See, we be. It's Metaphysical microscopic droplets, word stoppers, word smiths, capital T, A, T, C, W, B, systematically placing each word in a particular order to be articulated in the form of poetry. <laughs> Did y'all know that Tupac was a poet? Yeah. yeah. And, and a prophet. And a prophet. Yeah. They always try to stop out the poets, especially the poets who sing and sing, particularly their ears. And so that's why it was important to change the flavor of hip hop. Because hip hop had such a reach on our young generation. That's right. So they decided, okay, we're gonna speak, we're gonna put these and this word in and this word in here to contaminate right. our children. Right. And that's what's been happening. Our children are contaminated. So we that's need right. to step up to the plate and start teaching them something different, right? That's mm -hmm. right. Um, I wanted to share something with you, but I don't know if it's the right time. And it's also important in literature to be able to read and comprehend. You know, a lot of the literature that we read, including some of the major books that we read, has been tampered with or misinterpreted. Mm. You can leave a comma out of a word, mm. out of a sentence, and it will change the whole change meaning. Change the whole meaning. <laughs> I am what I am. But if you put a comma there, I am that. I am. <laughs> I am that. I am. I am that. I am, just a comma. 
And so you can't read things literally sometimes. That's it may right. be figurative. It may be metaphoric. And that's what we use in poetry a lot of times. We use a lot of metaphors. They say that my tainted blood has been mixed with Western colonialized philosophy and like crazy glue I have been stuck on European ideology. Cultivated superiority syndrome, complex but not compromising. When you see my old harmonious way of life has been shattered and replaced with religious doctrines and icons. This function of social institutions, systematic, psychological genocide, and not to mention this miseducation by these brainwashed, miseducators, washed out brains that inject me with the poison of individualism. You see, these modern technological practices of the oppressive culture leaves me with no way to go. Leading me to the slaughterhouse to help feed their reality, they say, after being used. You know, from around here, they say, after being abused and accused, that I deserve this confused will, but still I seek out a place within a bureau of dominant society in an attempt to find, like I'm sorry, my displaced body, mind, and spirit. So I question, and they answer. They say that I'm not full blooded anything, and they say that I'm not full blooded nothing, but I know and I feel that I'm 100% of something. I claim this, and I'm adopting that. I have a piece, of a piece, and a piece of that, the DNA that's coded to these chromosomes can be placed beyond space for thousands and thousands of years. Light years, as far as the angelic kingdom of the star series to the depth of the sea, is governed by Olo Room, commissioned by Olo Kun from the sacred shrines of the Arishas to the hills of Ida Ife to the mountain top of Mount Zion to the depth of the chamber of the Medineta Eye and of the Senate. Warriors, Nazarites, Rachel from the hot sand to the set gate to the valley of Nile. I'll be traveling for miles and miles and miles and miles only to be called nigga. Mm -hmm. Cool. Monkey. Hey dog. I'm called two continents, Africa, America. I'm called Moors, they said that the Moors are already here. I'm called Europe, a Muslim Jew, lost in that style, tropical survived, Asiatic, original labor, only cream of the planet, earth, father, civilization, God of the universe, but what verse? Whose chapter? Whose story? His story or mine? I can't begin to tell you what part I played in the resurrection of my ancestors' seed through my actions and deeds, but I can take parts from the scattered puzzle and pull them together from whatever they do. They claim my heritage. I may not be this or may not that, but I know that I'm 100% original, and that is a fact. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Come on! Amen. Now, I'm about to switch back. I'm going to put participation in this. When I go like this, I want y'all to say, I am. Can we do that? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I am! I am! Called out of dark into a marvelous light. Therefore, I am. Hold up. I don't want to mess up, so I just want to make sure that if I get to a part where I forget, I want to make sure that I can pick it up really fast. I got a Macintosh, probably a 1955, and it only holds so much data. So sometimes the brain it goes so far and then it just starts glitching there. Click, 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 click. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't remember. Y'all yeah. saying it's there. Yeah. Tell me about it. it be there. I, I got the same cast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Called out of darkness and say, marvelous light, therefore I am. Defining my destiny that's been dictated by defective darkness. Before falling, I receive words from the wise. My son, don't try and make life on your own. But after overcoming the most obvious obstacles and individualizing my thinking and hard as give me shit now, I'm grown. Commissioned to reside on the dark side of the moon where it appears I'm alone. Yeah, then baby. Hey. Sorry to interrupt. Is Johnson here? Uh, don't be 
Same one, 4th of April, 2018, at, at the record. You got that record? Get me, man. I'm beautiful. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Don't mind. How much is that one? It, it, it's a must appear ticket, so you have to go to the court. You ain't got to pay nothing. Well, no, it's not. Oh, no, Charlie, something, man. I got money. They, they'll, let you know, they'll let you know in court. You sure? Yes, sir. I'm going to need $10 from everybody to pay for this ticket. What is she, what is she being ticketed with? All right, the second one's uh, building has no uh, CO. All right, the, uh, yeah. the certificate of occupancy. You don't have a certificate of occupancy in the building. Uh -huh. You can't occupy the building with people okay. without a uh, certificate of occupancy. Okay. Okay, and that's the hen house with the chicks. No, it's not the hen house. This is 100 Black Presidents. That's the name of this social club. That's the name of this building. 100 black presidents. Okay, that's okay and it's a yeah, social so club that's up under the, um, what is it? Where is it? We're registered. Yeah, we're registered. And with the IRS. And with the IRS. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Okay. You can't occupy this building without a permit. You understand? Okay. With, not with a permit. Okay. That's not Fourth, what you meant. 4th of okay. April, 2018, at 3 o'clock now. Oh. And that's going to be court date as well. Okay. There's no fine listed on here. It just must be reported. Okay. That's going to be court date. We just have our duty. Yeah, we're doing 238. Oh, you guys been sitting over there. Yeah. 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 Smile, man. Damn, man. We smiling. Why you can't be at? Yeah. We're used to it. It's, it's hot. <laughs> you want soda? Get this man a bottle of water. I'm good, sir. I'm good. Right. You understand the citation? I'm private. Just yes, water. I understand the citation. Y'all want some gumbo? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Y'all want to sing a song for these gentlemen before they leave? Yeah. We can. We can. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, uh, we the okay, we have to Okay, we gonna do well, that. We have, we have, we have, we have Y'all wanna hang out? Go get some soda. We'll, we'll hang out. With all right. right. Yeah, y'all was over there about an hour. <laughs> I would let her. They gave her a ticket. Unlawful gathering. Anybody want to go? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Can you Please let her explain for the purpose of the press. Let me, um... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, from the beginning... Wait a minute. Let him get set up. Wait, wait. And this is when Will Smith is coming. That's right. Okay. This is where Will Smith, I really don't know who made the decisions. He needs to know exactly what goes on in Glenville. Okay. He who? Will Smith. Okay. He's so coming from the movie. Right around the corner. Uh, right there on the next block. Okay. Now, He's the only welcome Negro in town. Oh, uh -huh. Can you tell us what happened? Okay. Um, we, um, Mr. Lyde and I, or Ms. Lyde, the organization, asked to hold this event here on my private property. Mm -hmm. On private property, I own that, and I own this building here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Flat out on, you know, <laughs> no bank or anything. And I um, told them that they can use it. Now, because we looked for it to be much larger, we said, let's get a permit, okay? Um, and we went over and we asked for a permit to have this event. Okay. They said that you might not have enough parking. So we went 
and we asked a few of the churches around, could we use their parking? Which they agreed and said yes. So we went to them and we said, okay, we got enough parking so that we can have this event here on this private property. Um, after we jumped that hurdle, they came back and they talked about security. They said that we would need security. We went out and we hired a private firm mm -hmm. and we told them that we would block off um, the road so that we're not in the road, we're not disturbing traffic and mm -hmm. stuff like that. After we jumped that hurdle, they still decided, and what was the reason? The reason because was that Will Smith, Smith would, be, would be here. Would be awkward, would be filming today. Uh -huh. and that we would be in the way. Uh -huh. And because we were going to be in the way, they suggested, because it was not about the idea of, of, of us being here as black folk in the town, they said. Mm -hmm. It was about the fact that what happened is they needed for us not to use this private property. <laughs> we decided before we ever went to them that we were going to use private property mm -hmm. because we don't think we need to beg the, the government to have a, a, an assembly. Mm -hmm. We believe that it is absolute our right to assemble, especially on private, private property. property. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So the idea about needing a permit was their own fable in making a decision that there is one white girl who has been appointed for life to be the city manager. She has decided, coming from the prison complex that she worked in, where she beat Negroes half to death, that what happened is she needed to beat a black businesswoman and their business to pieces. We had already taken and, and, and got this place in order to have this particular function. We didn't need permission. Amen. We didn't need their permit. We didn't problem. need to ask them anything. Amen. What we didn't want to do though is park in their road. Mm -hmm. So we went and, and, and dealt with that hurdle. They said then what you need to have is you need to have a police presence. We said how much it costs. They said we will allow you to have one of our police, because we're going to have to have the rest of them over there so that they can do what they're doing today. Mm -hmm. Not protecting you, but intimidating you. Yes. And so what they did was, they then came back and said, no, we cannot give you a police, so we hired a security firm. Mm -hmm. You cannot deal in a way, that's why we're so glad that the center the Southern Center for Human Rights is here. Yes. Yes. We are so grateful. We are so grateful for, for Apostle Cowell. See, they don't know what just hit them. Amen. We talk about the notion of the God. Yes. The God already moved. Yes. He moved because he put us together today yes. to put this together to demonstrate there is a God in Israel. Yes. And we are going to demonstrate to Glenville and every little town and hamlet that black folk can, in fact, live. They have the right to exist. Yes. They have the right not to be shot. Yes. We were going to teach you about all the fellas that were shot today. The reason for it is because our commitment level has gone south. Yes. We have decided we free. Yes. We need to make another decision about this if we gonna protect your grandchildren. Yes. Amen. Yes. Did you get a ticket? I got two. Okay. Mm -hmm. And today was the day that I got shot. That's okay. right. I don't have a gun. That's right. Okay. Right. Um following the law as it states right. mm -hmm. in the Constitution. And I and, and I want to take this minute to call for the young lady he was talking about, Miss Amy Murray, to call for an investigation of her dealing. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I say this to
today, the way this city is ran, she is running it with lack of values, with lack of ethics, with you know the, the entire um, staff that works for the city is intimidated, um, low morale, and, and these people come to me every day. She threatens to fire them if they make one comment about anything Tell the truth. going on. And this, it, it, and this is not the way a city run. This is not the way a business run. We here in Glenville, we are the, the board of directors. And we have a right to get to, to let our CEO go if they are not running our business right. as it should be ran. Well, let, me, let me say something. Uh, we have done everything Everett. that the mayor and the city council asked us to do. We have been to two city commissioner meetings. Everything they asked us to do, we did it. We had went to a workshop with them. They told us to draw it out on diagrams, give them the route of how we gonna, where we going and everything. Where we we didn't get everything. The funeral home have across the street they allow us to park there. If we wanted to. If we wanted to. Everything they asked us to do for diagrams and letters. We had petitions signed by the churches about we can park there in the, the whole nine yards. St. James AME and First African Baptist. When we had done, met with them three times. And they still decided, say, no, this will not go on. But what they failed to realize, we didn't need their damn permission. <laughs> That's right. That's right. First permission. It's, it's, over, uh, it's less than 100 people here. It is. We didn't it's, need no permit. We didn't need no permit because it's less than 100 people here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, we have been through this before. We went through it doing GA Summit. We had went through it before with the, with, when they brought all the president, all his gang, the GA Summit. We know what, what we're the doing. Said. We know what the federal law said because we helped them write that federal law. They wrote it in, in my code. name. So we knew we didn't need a permit. Uh -huh. However, I would like to suggest we have a great organizer in this town. He's from Florida. And let me tell you something, he almost got Georgia organized in Mississippi. Brother Coward, would you come up and speak to our to our organizing effort, please? I'd just like to say I commend what you all are doing. And uh, I've seen situations like this before. We've had protests with, and marches with thousands. I would suggest that, um, that, because one of the things I think they're doing and not want to bring attention to this county for the things that's going on, I would suggest that, uh, well, two things. We, have, we do have a place that you can assemble without a problem from them. I would suggest we got the sidewalks right out there. Okay. I think that if we would go and just stand in front of the sidewalk mm -hmm. with our signs, mm -hmm. let everybody know exactly that we're here, we're here to stay, and what just happened, uh -huh. that's going to bring focus on what's going on. <laughs> so you're either going to have us here or we're going to be there. And that's the sidewalk, and that's what we're here for. The mm -hmm. sidewalk mm -hmm. is public property. Mm -hmm. They can stand off and demonstrate right in front of the city hall and everywhere. And that's, that's the way we respond back to them for what's happening. Right, right. So you don't want us to assemble here? We'll send in public where everybody can sit. I think that's what we need to do. Get some signs made. I'll send some people down to Walmart to get some signs made. Describe what just has happened so that people in the neighborhood can start joining us for the call. Is anybody connect, connecting with us, Will Smith? Uh, no, we're not. But I, I think what's going to happen, though, if there are people We that have written them. But I think what's going to happen, if there are people out of here and they see this going on, He's, there's going to be some questions that's going to be asked. They got to. This is right downtown. People are going to have to come by and see what's going on. That brings attention. Let people know what's happening now. And it is not. They 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 cannot forbid us from doing that. This is public property. The sidewalk is public property. The city hall, but in fact, public. that's public property. Exactly. So we can stand right over there. So they don't want us here. We need to go there. But and the other thing is, if anybody has any contact with Savannah Press. Uh, we have all the press we need, okay, and the press reason press. we got all the press we need, got is we press. got phones, we got we got two major press operations here. Are we streaming? We got we got we got two we radio need, stations we need that we've been on. Can we streamline on yes. Facebook? Well, I got yes. I got and I got some connections with uh, some major uh, news outlets. We're gonna try to get a hold of right now. What Thank about you. Facebook? So why don't we, before they come and try to disperse us, right. why don't we go out in front? But before you go, listen, right. they, 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 they haven't stopped anything. Y'all come and get y'all. That's right. Get your, and get enjoy your, this. Don't right. let it.
And we will do our presentations outside. May I please? Y'all yeah. listen up, listen up, please. Listen up, we got somebody asking a question. Let me say this, because I believe in, in, in organizing. I believe in organization. I believe in those things. Mm -hmm. What we're doing today, we can complete this, because I'm going to have to, of course, just to leave, but I'm about to leave in a few minutes to catch a plane. But the basic thing is before y'all leave, whatever you do this afternoon, let's put together something that we will come back. Amen. Absolutely. They'll organize this, all the machines, all the all the machines that put in place. But really organize this yes. and come back. Give me a date. Give me a date. Give me a date. Ma'am, excuse me. I really. Excuse me. Like I, I really would like to ask you what I perceive to be a valid question. That valid question is because you stated on the camera and this is the actual question. That valid question is because you stated on the camera and this is, I, I, I'm, I'm dealing with. 35 cities that's going through the same thing that you are going through. Okay, so my question to you is, did you not make a statement that the city manager can appoint it for life? Yes. yes. Now, is that in the charter? I don't know. Now, that's what you need to do. Now, we on camera here. We on camera here. The state of Georgia, the governor, the secretary of state, all of them know me. And the question is, is it in the charter? And if it is in this charter, then that charter needs some revamping real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Now, Governor, deal, deal with that. Why are you carrying the trials and what, what statement are you trying to make today, brother? Okay, it's a time to do it. Are you a pastor or are you just doing the committee? Just a lover of Jesus. All right, thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. Please be on zero. My uh, first day of shooting on the movie, uh, it's called Gemini Man. We're shooting in Georgia. I love Georgia. But y'all got to do something about the bugs. Georgia is so gorgeous. No, it really is. It's beautiful. But you got to rock this to be out here. All right? So I'm just saying y'all need to fix it. Because I put off, I sprayed off on. The bugs is on that like it's honey. I make, I make my living with my face. So... Somebody do something about it, quick. Ang Lee and Will Smith start filming Gemini Man. Will Smith has revealed on his Instagram that filming has started for the Paramount Pictures and Scott Inns movie Gemini Man, coming to theaters on October 4, 2019. Gemini Man is an innovative action thriller starring Will Smith as Henry Bergen, an elite assassin who is suddenly targeted and pursued by a mysterious young operative that seemingly can predict his every move. The film is directed by Academy Award-winning filmmaker Ang Lee and produced by renowned producers Jerry Bruckheimer and David Allison. Also starring are Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Clive Owen and Benedict Wong. Are you looking forward to seeing Gemini Man? Let us know in the comments below. Three. 
This is the Get To Free Press, and we report what others ignore. This is your First Amendment right to know with our whiteout from a controlled news media whiteout network. And we are located in Valdosta, Georgia, and we are here to inform, educate, and persuade if necessary. Always keep that in mind. Moreover, I want to say to you that as a community, state, nation, and world, we are not who we claim to be, but who we prove ourselves to be over a given period of time. And if we are liars, time will tell. And if we are racist or hater, time will tell. And our righteous and holy God already know. So you are only fooling yourselves. Again, the Ghetto Free Press. I'm George Foster Brown.